stop using a LUT when you export. If you've been using Adobe Premiere Pro for a while, you may be familiar with the need to add a gamma compensation LUT when exporting your videos. But Adobe actually fixed this issue a couple of years ago, and I made a video back in 2023 on this exact problem, but it still seems there are some people out there having trouble with this, so hopefully this will explain a bit more. So what was the problem? Adobe has addressed the gamma inconsistencies between Premiere Pro and QuickTime. You may have noticed that perhaps there's a contrast change between when you play back your videos in Premiere and when you play them back somewhere else. In the past, when exporting videos from Premiere Pro, some people recommended adding a gamma compensation LUT to ensure the videos look the same on all devices. The gamma compensation LUT was a workaround to fix this issue but it was an unnecessary step. So what's the solution? The good news is that with a previous update to Adobe Premiere Pro, you no longer need to add this gamma compensation LUT when exporting videos on a Mac. The new settings tab brings together all the essential color settings in one place, making it easier than ever to manage your color workflow. In the panel, you have options for media color space, input and output LUTs, and most importantly, viewer gamma. This setting allows you to specify the gamma of your viewer. You want to make sure display color management is checked and then you can now adjust the display color management to ensure what you see within Premiere will be the same as where it will be watched later. If you are creating for broadcast, this is the standard 2.4. If you are creating for web, social media for example, this will be 2.2. And if your final delivery will just be played back on QuickTime, you will want 1.96. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments.